Right, so for this demonstration, you'll need a concave uh, mirror, and I have a convex lens. Um, so this is just projecting like an image onto a screen, except you use, get the students to use a cell phone, and they can project like YouTube onto any sort of white background. Um, for the mirror size, sort of this size probably the best. Um, I've tried makeup mirrors before, um, but the phone needs to be quite close to it from memory um, and they don't work as well. Although slightly bigger than this would be perfect. So maybe I don't know, halfway between a makeup mirror size and, and this size. So I'll quickly turn the lights off. Um, and what you need to do is you need to have a room that's basically blackout or as dark as possible. And then you need to get the students to turn their brightness up on their phone to maximum. Um, otherwise you don't get a very clear image. Um, so what you can do is you can hopefully I'll hit play and you can see the image and I'll try and slowly get the focal point right. And you can see the upside down image projected onto the screen, somewhat in focus. Bring this back a bit. And you can have the students practice with the focus um, of the image. It tends to go in and out of focus as you sort of move your hand. Is that in focus? Slightly. Here we go. It's a bit easier with the convex uh, lens because you just place the lens directly in front and then you can uh, get an image, an upside down image on the screen. Although the effects of the screen actually lighting up the whiteboard make a bit of a difference. Um, and your thumb and finger tend to get in the way a bit. Um, so it's good practice for kids to find the focal point. It takes quite a bit of practice to find out where it is. Oh, not quite, move it back a bit. There we have it. So good fun demonstration that the kids can play with. Um, to see the effects of projection, projecting images onto a screen.